not recorded on any scriptures or sutras. It cannot be described by preaching, nor can it be acquired by human intelligence, nor derived from knowledge and experience, nor achieved from gifted talents. Because the above mentioned all have to be created and can be eliminated, which means that they cannot last forever themselves. They all bear partiality and cannot be applied universally. Hence, they cannot surpass life cycles, nor can they reach eternity. 2. The wonder of the effects and omnipotence of Tao is beyond words. It is the wisdom that does not come from learning. It is what we acquire from God and possess intrinsically. It is the same divine heart before the creation of the universe. It is conscience, the holy heart. It is the divine and immortal nature the spirit of God. 3. Tao is too marvelous to be described. It makes us know without learning and function without practicing. It is a prior wisdom, perception, potency, and ability. It is not constrained by words or languages. It functions without thinking, intents, or even actions. However, it can create the sky, the world, the human, all beings, and all existences. All these, after being created, still cannot carry on without Tao even for one moment. Tao is therefore called Great Lord of all beings. 4. Without Tao, the stars and planets in the sky wouldn't he have been in order. The sun and the moon couldn't he have illuminated or revolved properly. Then the yin-yang energies wouldn't he have circulated, and, as a result, this world wouldn't he have been suitable for all of us to live in five.